Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your career and money reading for November 2019. I hope you're doing well. So we are going to have a look into the situation. Also, happy birthday to those of you who have birthdays um, in November. Happy, happy, happy birthday. And yeah, so let's have a look. Also, I do want to mention um, if you'd like to win a free reading with me or if you would like to book a private paid reading with me, all the information for that is in the description box below. My bracelets are also on Etsy. They are spiritually charged intention bracelets, which start from just three pounds with free international shipping. Um, so if you are interested, that will all be down below. They are handmade by me. And um, yeah, you can check out reviews, you know, all that good stuff. Also the Wheel of Fortune flipped over as well. So let's see. And if you're wondering which one I'm wearing, I'm wearing the wealth bracelet. So, um, you know, I just thought, it goes nicely with this reading and what's really interesting is that we have the wheel of fortune you know and I just feel that it's so fitting it just it all happens for a reason always does I mean this card is so golden it is so beautiful when I think about it I think of prosperity and in all honesty Sagittarius I just feel that November is a very prosperous month for you. Yes, we do have some challenges with the Mercury retrograde, so you will most likely feel the effects of it. But I'm also seeing that it's a very abundant month. It is a month where you feel, especially in regards to your career, that it is finally serving you. That it is finally doing something that makes you feel good. You know, so this can be for example, your boss, co-workers, or just things around you going well and feeling good, you know, emotionally feeling very, very good. We also have here Page of Pentacles. This can signify um, a raise or a little bit more income in terms of money. It can also signify some form of promotion. I feel like that's kind of the same thing as a raise. I mean, raise is gaining more money. Promotion can be also working your way up the ladder. But in general, even if you work for yourself or, you know, whatever it is that you do in terms of your work, I am seeing there is an increase in money in November. We also have here the Three of Pentacles. So this Three of Pentacles really does show that your career is giving back to you. So, you know, the work that you put into your career you know, your career is really giving back to you in a very strong way, not just in terms of finances, but also in terms of, you know, how you feel mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. It give it, It's giving back in more than one way, which I think is strong, right? That is a wonderful thing. So, so wonderful. We also have here the Ace of Swords, which is obviously really great. We like it. We stand for this Ace of Swords. Yes, we like it. Obsessed with that Ace of Swords today. A, because it's really good. It shows that you're going to feel very, very clear. You're going to feel like things are progressing for you, things are getting stronger for you in terms of your career. You know, you're just going to feel driven. So that's what I'm seeing. And combine that fire energy with fire energy for Sagittarius season and you being Sagittarius, whether you are a sun, moon, rising or Venus sign Sagittarius, what I am seeing is that it's still very potent and it's still very, very powerful, you know, even if you aren't a sun sign. What I always say is that, you know, astrologically, there's lots of shifts always going on in that universe of ours or in this universe of ours, I guess, because we are part of the universe. Anyways, <laughs> so, you know, you can feel the energy of it. And when you feel the energy of it, I just repeated myself, but the thing is that it's it's powerful, you know, it's so, so, so powerful. There's always shifts and sometimes your moon sign can be so much stronger, sometimes your Venus sign can be so much stronger depending on where everything is astrologically. So regardless, regardless, it is very, very strong this month for you. Okay, so we have the ace and then we have the two. So we have, you know, this feeling of feeling really great. Again, Mercury retrograde might make you feel a little bit indecisive, might throw in some challenges, you know, in terms of communication, technology, travel. It may make you feel a little bit like, what's going on? This is, you know, you may feel very indecisive. Five of pentacles here, you know, you may feel like, why is this happening to me? If you feel like that, just know that Mercury retrograde is literally playing around with 
everyone so um you know this can be a kind of feeling of like everyone else is fine like why am i struggling and why am i having these challenges with communication technology and travel i don't understand trust me though you're not the only one a lot happens during this period of time a lot goes on it's just not cute time it's not a cute time at all we have the six of swords which really shows you emotionally getting yourself to a much better place which is very very positive so you will feel a little bit off balance quite indecisive in that sense I mean you know especially more off balance with the five of pentacles actually because the five of pentacles is kind of about you thinking why is this happening to me but then you'll get yourself to an emotionally better place you will feel much much better about how things are progressing which direction things are going in we also have here the magician so overall you know again magician is actually ruled by mercury <laughs> you see how this all connects it's it's a it's a puzzle and every time I shuffle I'm getting a new piece of the puzzle and that's what we're seeing it is still despite Mercury being in retrograde it is still a month where you can manifest some beautiful things where things can really happen for you things can manifest for you you have every ability every ounce of ability you have every possibility for things to progress use the law of attraction use affirmations use intentions because I'm really seeing that this is still a really great month. Mercury retrograde, yes, it will play around with you. We saw that right at the beginning. It's one of the first things I did say. But it's a really good, abundant and prosperous month for you. There is, again, money that I'm seeing, especially with this Wheel of Fortune and everything else that I mentioned here. There is a feeling of feeling really good and just in general feeling protected by the divine. So if you have problems during the Mercury retrograde and you feel like, oh, why me? Leave the problems at the feet of the divine and then you take yourself to an emotionally better place. That doesn't mean that you just leave your problems at the feet of the divine and you just kind of do whatever. Acknowledge the problems, realise the problems and then, you know, leave those problems instead of trying to fight them because with Mercury Retrograde it's better not to fight things, it's better to work with the issues rather than against it. Okay, so use Law of Attraction, Affirmations. We also have here the Tower, so it does show that the retrograde will affect you, but it's also showing a lot of negativity being released. So that's a good thing, right? The Six of Swords here is about getting yourself to an emotionally better place. The Tower happens here, so you do feel the energy of the retrograde, but it's also about releasing all that negativity you see here. All of this gets released. Nine of Pentacles, you're still going to feel very abundant, very, very abundant. And what I am seeing here is that there's a bit of a saving mode going on. So you may feel like you're saving more of your money as well in November. We also have the Ace of Cups. So emotionally, it's still a really good month for you. You know, things are blooming, things are manifesting for you, things are good. So you may feel that the retrograde is a bit abrupt and just kind of doing things but I feel that you will get yourself to a much better place where you're able to handle everything you're able to feel much better and the ace of cups here does signify this opportunity tied to the page of pentacles so keep your eyes open there's something really beautiful happening look at that king of pentacles you know feeling stable feeling really good some form of achievement and money gain that I'm seeing here you know feeling like you've gained a lot of experience feeling just really really good in general so that is what I'm seeing with the king of pentacles it is a really lovely energy that I'm seeing it makes me feel good I hope it makes you feel good because despite this I am seeing that you are going to feel so 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 strong and that these things that we are seeing here are only going to make you stronger if anything this is like a transformation the tower is putting these things in to make you stronger to kick in this transformation where you feel so much more abundant so much more mature and so much more better within yourself as well so Sagittarius wow what a reading right so this is your reading I really hope that you know this resonates and if it does please let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um, also do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings the free reading giveaway my bracelets which are on Etsy um, they start from just three pounds of free international shipping link will be down below to my Etsy and um, thank you so much for all of the love and support of my channel it means so 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 much to me and um, yeah this is I mean a very solid reading right really really strong um, happy birthday also to the Sagittarius um, 
people out there who have birthdays in November or even in December. You know, happy birthday and uh, take care. Bye!